a deal with the devil. We all give in to temptations every day. Some are minor fails, cheating on our diet or doing personal business during working hours. Others are more serious ones, cheating on a spouse or failing to report cash tips or other income on our taxes. One important aspect of building a better life is developing a moral compass that helps you navigate the pitfalls everyone encounters. Without a personal North Star to guide you, wants can seem like needs. The end can justify the means, and a deal with the devil feels acceptable. I learned this lesson like I learned most things the hard way. It all happened while I was rebuilding my beloved 1969 Camaro. Even though I was doing all the body and interior work myself, I spent most of my money on parts because parts were so expensive. A solution presented itself in the form of a kid whose family moved in just a few trailers down from us. This kid told me his brother worked in an auto parts store in Topeka, and he could get parts that he would sell me at a huge discount because he would steal them from the employer. This was a real moral dilemma because while I would never steal anything, if I agreed to this, I would be paying his brother to steal for me. Reluctantly, I agreed to the plan and gave the kid every nickel I could scrape together. I was immediately filled with remorse. I knew I had made a terrible decision, but I didn't have any way to kill the deal. I tossed and turned in bed that night trying to figure a way out. Fortunately for me, the neighbor was an impressive liar and a cheat. That deal was a scam and the parts never materialized. I was so relieved that I never mentioned the fact that he had stolen my money, especially since his family was so unpredictable that it would have been dangerous to ask for my money back. Some lessons come with a pretty high price tag, but in this case, it was worth every penny I had to learn a valuable life lesson and avoid a deal with the devil.